everybody, can you remember what we did the first day we came, when you first met us? Yeah, Emma. And we did the quiz. About we were given um, the opportunity to work with Yorkshire and Humber Grid for Learning on a pilot project to use the Sony PSP machines um, and it fitted very well with our current um, treasured possessions project that's running at the moment. And we've been using the digital tagging with um, a school, Horse Primary School, which is just near to the museum here. And um, we've been working with them to create resources, so it could be little films or stories or um, sound clips, photographs, archive photographs. And um, basically they take the, the work that they've created and it's uploaded into a PSP machine. And then um, the PSP machine um, recognises a tag that we put out, a marker that's put out around the museum. And um, if someone comes with a PSP machine, it picks up the, the marker and the marker recognises that and then produces a story actually on the machine. It sets a challenge to do um, our favourite possession at home and here. Um, I chose a Viking ring and we had to write a story about it and it, it was found recently. It, um, it hasn't been found for so many years and I didn't know it was 86% um, gold either. At school we did some research about, um, like for example, I did a, bed, a Victorian bedpan and I did some research about that. Well, it's more fun using the PSPs because and instead of just learning and I found out that foxes are actually quite like they find it hard to live. It was really nice because it actually brought um, the attention of other different types of objects to the children that they might not normally have noticed so even though some of them went for the Viking ring um, other children um, were great and actually spotted things like the Wayweiser on the um, on the carriage displays and that was that was really nice because they were bringing out other aspects that, that might usually be overlooked so we've seen real incidental learning and they've not realised that they're doing that learning because they've been so keen to get that information onto the PSP that they've done all of that research and I, mean, I had one little boy standing in the, um, the time tunnel talking about the Roman coins, just spouting all sorts of different information about those coins, massively excited about the fact that his work was then going to be on the PSPs. So they've been really proud about what they've done and it's given them the enthusiasm to investigate their heritage, which has been fantastic. Mm. That's one of the year fours. Um, I've got two bad badges. Well, the badges have our name on it, what we like and what we dislike, and... They were kind of a first try of the PSP, mm -hmm. kind of. And you just hold it over a badge and it recognises it and scans it and you can read what's been put on there. Um, what we'd very much like to do is to be able to get um, a kit of, of the, uh, the PSP machines, our own kit, rather than borrowing it from the uh, Yorkshire Humber Grid for Learning. I was a bit hung up on the how difficult the technology would be to work, um, but actually, once I knew how to so okay, turn the Sony PSP on, on, which was something I'd never seen before, um, was absolutely fine. Um, the children found it very easy, and obviously they were desperate to get their hands on them, and, and they've had a really good time. So actually, that hasn't been an issue at all. It's been really simple to use. The reason that we really wanted to work with the local primary school initially was that we wanted to give them ownership of the museum. And they've been really fired up by it, really enthusiastic, and just by introducing them to their heritage through the PSPs, we've actually um, touched on things like communication skills, they've been able to research some of the objects themselves. So we've touched on all aspects of the curriculum um, through using the PSPs. Um, we'd also like to be able to use the, the kit with families, so um, to be able to... Um, hire them out from, from the reception area and let those families get lots of different types of information um, about the museum and really bring the objects to life through the PSPs. One little boy had said to me, it's been brilliant, we haven't done any writing. But actually, they've, re they've, they've produced three or four pieces of written work. They just hadn't actually considered it as such. F from our point of view, it's been a really, really positive experience. Mm. Mm. One of them two's got to be nice. Doyle, yeah. I found your one. Oh, thank you. Doyle, I found it on. 